back to my channel um so today i am going to be doing a sit down life update i guess well you guys don't necessarily have an update because i've never sat down and done and i've never done a video like this so um but yeah i just wanted to come on here i thought this was the best place that felt aesthetically pleasing and i thought that it was gave chill vibes and i kind of just want to like chill out and just talk a little bit we are definitely all the way in 2020 and i just want to rewind really quick and just go back into 2019 and talk about it a little bit i feel like i should um just so i can have like a year in review it's february 1st and i finally decided to have a talk about 2019 where do i even start <laughs> 2019 was decent um it had a whole bunch of highs and a whole bunch of lows i was able to travel in 2019 um for mother's day my sister and i took my mom to the bahamas and it was literally a trip just for her um so all she had to do was show up and that was one of the things that was on my vision board um that i wanted to do and i'm just so grateful um that we were able to do it because as the trip went on and it was just seeing my mom off for the first time and like truly being off it was like this is great and um i don't know about you guys but i'm sure if you're haitian and you're watching this um you know haitian parents work really 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 hard and they don't believe in like days off um their middle name is their job um so to have my mom go to the bahamas and just like really let her hair down and have a good time and enjoy herself and explore and see the country i thought that was really refreshing and so i found it very nice to finally see that happen for her um because i know she if it were up to her she's not taking the time out to do any of that and i feel like oftentimes you know as you know young people we always want to go on trips with like our friends or like a significant other and things like that and i felt like you know what i haven't taken a trip with my mom so i want to do something super memorable and so me and my sister we put our heads together and we were like this is what we're gonna do and so my mom always talked from the very moment like since i could remember my mom would always be like i want to go to the bahamas i want to go to the bahamas i want to go to the bahamas and that's what we did we went to the bahamas and she had a really good time and it just felt great you know just to have her relax and finally chill like my mom does not know how to chill and that's one of my one of the traits that i've taken from her that i now have in the summer uh, my friend said uh, she had a birthday trip planned to Cancun so I ended up going and it was really really fun um, we drank a lot we partied we went out we clubbed we ate tacos and like that was my first time ever going to Mexico so I had a really good time so that was good um, I traveled a lot for work this year I was able to go back home to Miami and um, if you don't know and I know I am from Miami born and raised i'm a city girl okay um but <laughs> um i went back home because my job was able was had opened up a new showroom in miami and so um i went home a lot more and me going home a lot more allowed me to see my family and just see a lot see them a lot more and just experience a lot more things with them and see my friends a lot more because me being out here in la is just like you don't off i don't have the t i don't often get the chance to like go home so I was able to go home and um, hang out with my family. It was such a good time. 2019 also, like I said, it had some ups and it had some downs. Some of that included like, you know, death. And so I feel like a lot of it happened. Um, and I feel like in the past, for the past few years, I feel like death has been like, not that it's coming at me, but it's been a constant reminder that you can be here today and literally gone tomorrow so it's become so surreal when it's someone you know and you're just like wow you no know, we always think we have more time and we don't and it's like i'll do it tomorrow and i'll do it today i had an uncle who passed away which is my cousin's dad and like then um in the midst of that she gave birth and it's so crazy but um it's a beautiful thing that took place it, if I even tell you the story or even begin to go into it, you'll be like, wow. And, but yeah, so my cousin gave birth to baby Aaron, who is so freaking cute. I just can't, I can't even cope 
on how cute she is. Um, but yeah, she gave birth. Um, unfortunately, she buried her dad, and that was a very sad situation. And then, you know, but she gave birth, and, um, and it was really, really enlightening in terms of like the situation and what the time was. Um, so yeah, I'm a god mom now, and I don't, until this day, I literally look at my cousin, I'm like, bro, you're a mom, and she's like, I know, and I'm like, you're a fucking mom, and she's like, I know, and I'm like, oh my god, you're a mom, and she's like, I know, so I'm always just like, hype off of just that alone on how much she's like a mom now, um, but, uh, so that's cool, so I'm a god mom, and I have godmom duties, and that's basically for me for being in LA and um, my cousin being in Miami. My duties are being on FaceTime and watching her on FaceTime. If my cousin needs to go somewhere, I'm babysitting via FaceTime. Um, and I mean, when I say go somewhere, like the kitchen to the living room. So I'm, I'm busy. I'm a busy woman. I'm a busy girl. See, in 2019, work was fair. Um, I had to put in a lot of work. Um, a lot of stuff happened, but. It was rewarding in 2019. I got promoted, but I was really proud of myself because you know what? I felt like it was time, and so I got a promotion at work, and that was so. It felt really rewarding um, to to have that take place. So that's me at work. Oh, in 2019, you know, I had uh, maybe I don't want to be Roxy, um, but in 2019, you know, I also experienced people trying me and you know I wish I can go more in to depth more but I just I feel like it's best if I don't and just leave it for what it is but you know when people show you who they are really believe them because it's not gonna change it's literally yeah so I've had people try me in 2019 and when I say try like they owe me money but that whole situation was like so crazy i don't even want to get into it because that's how stupid it is in terms of like how it transpired but um that happened um but you know you live and you learn what else happened in 2019 in terms of love i did not find that in 2019 Maybe I'll find it in 2020. And I feel like people are, especially in LA, like, hmm, that's just such a hard task to, for you to accomplish. But I just feel like in general, like whether I lived in LA or anywhere else, people like what they like. And I don't think I'm in that category of what they like. And that's perfectly fine because it's it goes both ways. Like I like what I like and I haven't found what I liked yet. And my person hasn't found me yet. So it's like, until we find each other, we're in this space of like, our person doesn't exist because what we like isn't here yet. So I, 2019, I did not find my person. I was definitely a lot more open cause your girl, is not open not open in a bad way like i felt like it was a lot more like you know how people be like put your you need to put yourself out there um i felt like i did but i hope in 2020 i find my person and maybe i will maybe i won't i don't know um and then myself overall in 2019 i did feel like i've definitely lost the discipline that i used to have in terms of like being determined and being motivated um i didn't take that many risks in terms of my own personal goals. I found myself constantly questioning myself in terms of like, is this something that you want? Do you really like that? Like I know who I am and I know what I like and I know I do the same thing all the time. And at some point in 2019, I was like, why am I always, I always do the same thing. I need to switch it up. And so with me doing that, I kind of felt like, is this me? Is that something that I would typically do? Do I always do that? Or then I found myself like, am I truly living? Am I really living my best life? Yeah, in a nutshell, that was 2019. <laughs> um, in a nutshell, that was my 2019. So what do I have in mind for 2020? 
I want to bet on myself a lot more and just like I don't want to count myself out before I even step into the ring I just want to really 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 put my best foot forward and I know that I can fucking do it I think I've been in a space where I've been like I constantly say to myself like you never know until you try but I haven't used that for myself so it's like cat how will you know if you never try like you haven't tried I so I want to get out of this procrastinating stage I want to get out of this stage of like I'll do it tomorrow. I want to travel a lot more in 2020. I want to see how this YouTube thing goes. I really hope I, I'm consistent. And if I stay consistent, I could, I'm bound to see results. I know I am. Taking more chances. You know, taking more chances, taking more risks. Something that I seriously, seriously, seriously need to do is get out of my head. I stay in there. And it's like me being in there stops me from like... Like I do one thing and I'm like thinking of all these scenarios and I'm like, cat, none of this is gonna happen. Just and I'm playing into it. So if something happened, I'm like, mm, I knew it. I knew that happened because of this. But it's like, no, I'm already putting that vibe out there. I always be thinking about well, yesterday this happened and this happened. But it's like you want today now. Like, do today. Just do today because yesterday happened. You and that happened already. There's nothing you can do. You can't go back in time. You can't change it. And you're on today. If I drill that in my head enough, I think I'll be all right. <laughs> I hope that I'm truly enjoying life and learning from mistakes. And like, that's it. Like 2020, I just want to have a good time. I want to enjoy my friends. I want to enjoy my family. I want to say what I need to say today. If I have something I need to say, if there's something I need to express, I just want to say it. Um, Will I find a person in 2020? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'll find a person in 2020. I plan on, in terms of, in that field of relationships, I plan on being a lot more open and like a lot, trying to be a lot more open and seeing what's out there and, you know, I don't know, just having fun and, but, but being open, I don't know. Like maybe that'll happen for me. I don't know. Um, my person, if you're watching, I'm here. So quit playing and find me. Um, in terms of work, I just want to improve my work ethic and, um, see what else that I can, like, challenge myself with and work on that and make me a better person as a worker, as an employee. Um, and yeah, so in 2020, we'll see what happens and... I just want to put my best foot forward overall um, and really show myself that I can really do this. If I really tried and if I was really focused, I could really see some things happen and see some things shake up for me. So, um, and then again, another thing that I want to focus on in 2020 is to really get my, my spiritual life together. Whenever chaos takes place in my life, the first thing I do is like panic. So I want to get to a space where like when chaos does come up, I'm like, all right, God, give, lead me in the direction that you want me to go in. Lead me into the space that you need me to go in. And I just don't want to go into panic mode. The th I want to be like the first thing that happens. I don't want to like call my mom in vain. I don't want to do this. I want to just, well, God, well, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to move forward? I feel like that will really help a girl out. <laughs> and I just want to make sure... Everybody that's in my life, I want to make sure I let them know that I really love them on a consistent basis. And yeah, I think that's all that I have. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.